Hi, this is me. Before we go ahead with this video, I'd like to point out a couple of things that need fixing in the code. I only spotted these after making the video. That's why I've added this bit at the start of this video. In PV table uh, store hash entry, there's the entry logic down here where we decide whether the entry is old enough to be replaced or the depth is correct to make a replacement. We actually want less than equal to depth, not just less than depth here. The other one is inside search.c in search position. So when I cleaned all the stuff up for UCI only basically here, I knocked off the PV text, which means if you run the engine in a GUI, it won't show the principal variation. So you need to add on this space and PV on the end here. Now I've already updated the code on GitHub with this. So you may already have seen that, but just in case you haven't, you need to add that on there. So a couple of things, the PV table with the less than equal to depth and the search.c with the space PV. Welcome to video 101. This is the one I'm probably most nervous about doing because there's a potential for a lot to go wrong here. We're going to take out or hack out the uh, input polling for input code and try and get this input thread up and running. As preparation for this, you'll already notice maybe that in the code here, I've got the tiny c thread.c and the tiny c thread.h inside here ready to go. So the first step I want to take is to go into miscellaneous.c. And we're going to get rid of a load of the code in here because we don't need a lot of the code inside here. So we can get rid of this input waiting and we can also get rid of this read input. In fact, the only thing we need in here is actually this time here. So for the definitions here, we can leave this windows.h. We actually only need the time.h so we can get rid of this as well here. What that also means is we can get rid of defs.h. And I'm going to leave uh, the standard in out here because I can't remember whether we need that somehow or not. So I'm just going to leave that in there for now. The next thing we can do is go into search.c and right at the top of search.c, we've got this read input here. This was the polling that we were doing. We no longer need that there at all. So we can just take that out of the checkup and clean that up a little bit as well. The next thing we need to do is we need to set up the information that we want to pass to the thread. If I scroll down to the where is the search position function, here it is. When we start searching a position, we send in a pointer to our position, a pointer to our search info, which is used for things like stop and nodes and stuff like that, and also a pointer to our hash table. Our thread is going to need access to all three of these, but if you remember from the slide, we've actually just got a void pointer that we can work with here. So what we're going to need to do is create a structure that has that information inside for us to work with. So I'm going to go into defs.h, scroll down to the bottom of the structure definitions that we've got here, and let's make a new struct called search thread data. And then inside here, what we're going to do is we're going to make a pointer to our search info. So star and info. We'll make a pointer to our original position. So we'll do S board and then pointer and original position. And then we'll make a pointer also to our hash table. So I'll make a pointer to and T table. So that sets up the container for the data that we want to send to our thread. Okay then, so now let's jump into search.c and above the search position, we're going to create the function that's actually going to be called when we create the thread. So this is the thing that we're going to point to. So we're going to type int and I'll call it search position thread. And as an argument, we're going to take our pointer to our data, which is our void pointer. The first thing we're going to do is cast this data to some search data. So inside our search thread data, we've got a pointer to our original position here, but I don't want to use that. I want to keep that separate because later on when we start searching on separate threads in parallel, they're all going to need to start from the original position and be completely separate to each other. So what I'm going to do then is make a new board. So I'll make this a pointer, search boards equal to position. And before doing anything else, allocate some memory for that. Now for malloc to work, I need to include string.h. So I'll go to the top of the file and include that. So having included that, let's scroll back down. Are we still all white? No, we've gone green. Okay, good. So we've allocated ourselves some memory for our board. What we want to do now is copy the original position we received across to that. So we can use the uh, mem copy. And then the destination is the position we've just made. The source is going to be our search data and the original position. And we also need to tell it the size that we're copying as well. And we're copying a size of S board into there as well. So what we've done is we've created a new position pointer, brand new when this thread was created. And we're copying across what was in the memory essentially from the original position, which will be set up. And you'll see that in the UCI.c, but set up uh, in our search data here. What we're ready to do now is actually call the search position. So we can call our search position. We send in our pos, which we've just created. We can then send in our search data and it's the info. And we can also send in our search data 
and it's the transition table. Remember, we don't need to copy the info or the T table because we'll be looking for this flag, so the stopped flag, to be set from the uh, UCI, so from the, the input thread, and therefore we want to make sure that we're actually pointing to what was sent into the thread. The board, we want a completely new copy, which is why we've done this here. So we've almost finished there. The other thing I'd like to do, though, is free up the memory that we actually created and allocated for our position once we've come out of search position because we've finished searching. Finally, what I'm going to do is just return zero from this function. We actually don't need to use at all inside the program the return value that we get from this function at all, but I'll return zero. The other thing I'll do just before that, actually, I'm just going to type freed so we at least see something on the screen to make sure that we know the thread is at least executed when we actually come to try and run this code. And I've typed print there, you'll probably notice, and that's because I'm far too used to Python these days, so I need to do print f in C, don't I? That's better. So that's all we need to do to define a function to set our position going. What we do need to do, however, is make sure this is available for the uci.c to use. So we'll copy the definition of this, drop into defs.h, find search somewhere which is down here and then we'll do extern and we'll put that in here like so. Okay then so the next place we're going to go is uci.c and the first thing I'll do at the top here is include our tiny c thread because we're going to need some uh, some of the definitions inside there and then under si underneath the input uh, buffer here let's design uh, define sorry design design our thread type isn't it done like that yeah yeah good thread underscore type and I'll call this main search thread. And this is going to contain the identifier for the thread that we create that is going to be used then for the join inside the code here. Now we're going to get into the meat of everything and that's actually the creation of our search thread, so the launching of our search thread. So I'll make a new function called launch search thread and we're going to take into here then our position, so we'll say our s board and a pointer to our position and then we want our search info, so search info and a pointer to info and our hash table as well. So what we need to do now is create this search thread data uh, structure which has all of these three inside it. So what we'll do then is we'll make an S search thread data and I'll just call that uh, P search data is equal to and then we want to do some memory allocation which means we need string.h which we've already got which is okay so I'll do malloc and then we want to do size of and S search thread data. So we've allocated ourselves some memory for our pointer here. What we need to do now is set up the information. So we've got p-search data and then the original position is going to be equal to our position. I'm going to be very, very lazy here and just copy this down twice. So our info is going to be equal to our info and also our t-table in there is going to be equal to table. And am I going to regret using double t here? Probably at some point. Finally, then we can do exactly what we saw in the slide in the previous video. So we can set up our uh, thread type and we'll say that's th. And then what we want to do is call the thread create. We'll send in our th. We'll send in the pointer to the uh, search position thread function that we created. And finally, then we want to cast to avoid pointer then our p search data. Finally, last but not least, what we're going to do from here is we're going to return th. And that should be all we need to do to launch our search thread. So when we get a go inside UCI, we're going to call this function. We're going to send in these three, create this object, set up the pointers, and then create the thread by launching this search position thread, which we've defined in search.c here, where we then create the copy of the position, etc., etc., and that will start searching. What we'll do then is we'll basically carry on looking for input and when we get a stop we'll then wait on this thread that's been returned here. Okay then, so with that written, what we need to do now is make an adjustment to the uh, the passing of the go because we're sending in the search info and the search board. I'd like here also to send in a pointer to the hash table. I know it's global, but I'm just thinking of the future and if we ever need to do anything slightly different, so I'm going to send in a pointer to the hash table also to pass go here. So the big change actually comes at the bottom of the pass go here. So down the bottom, we're actually searching the position, but we're no longer going to be doing this because this is the one that doesn't get started from our thread. What we want to do is launch our search thread. So I'm going to say that we're going to launch our search thread. And here then we send in our position, our info, and we also send in our point to the hash table. Now we do get something back from this, remember, that is our thread, which we're going to need for the join. So I'm going to say then that our main or mine, mian, main search thread is equal to then the launch search thread. 
So whenever then we get uh, pass go going, so whenever we've got go in the UCI, we're going to launch the search thread. And really importantly to note is we're going to then set our handle, so our identifier for the thread by what's returned from launch search thread here so that we can use this for the joining. Talking of joining, what we should probably do is add in a function to do that. I'm going to put this at uh, the top of the file here just so it's near this launch search thread so I can keep everything from my brain uh, in the same place. It's going to be a very, very simple function. We'll call this join search thread. And we can use another function from the library. It's called a thread join. So it's THRD join that comes from a tiny search thread. And here we just send in the handle that we want to join. And then we can send in null as well. So whichever thread calls join search thread, it will block and wait for whatever main search thread is to finish. Now, if main search thread isn't running or it doesn't find one running with that ID, then it just won't block at all. It'll carry on. So what we need to do now then is call join search thread in the correct places. So if we go down into the UCI, when the program first starts, we get all of this stuff spit out and we sit here looping and processing input. What's going to happen is we're going to at some point get the go. When we get the go, we're then going to set up go and at the bottom here, launch our search thread. And now the program will carry on. The search thread will be launched. Hopefully we'll copy the position, we'll be searching and we'll actually be right back into our UCI loop waiting for input. There are only two types of input that are going to affect us. One is stop and one is quit. And I can see also a red squiggly line whilst I'm talking. And that of course is because inside pass go here, we actually need to send in the reference to our hash table. So what I'll do then is put the reference to our global hash table here like so. And I think I saw another one here as well. Yep, I did. Okay then. So if we get quit and we're searching, what we need to do before we quit is make sure that we can join our search thread. So everything there has cleaned up and freed itself, etc. So we'll put the join search thread. So if quit is received whilst we're searching, this uh, loop here will effect effectively block here before we then break out. The other thing we need to do is we need the stop as well. So what I'm going to do is copy this one rather brutally and paste it here. And instead of quit, I'm going to put stop. Now, when we get the uh, stop command, we want to set that info stopped is equal to true so that the thread actually stops and we don't need that break, but we do need to join the search thread. And that reminds me as well, of course, that when we get the quit, we need to tell the search thread to quit by having the info stopped is equal to true as well. Look at this code. There's something else that jumps out at me. Vice is not really sort of best practice in C anyway, but nevertheless, having the info stopped equals true and the join search thread and then having it again here is uh, bad, even by my standards, I think. So one thing that we certainly could do is just uh, take the search info, I think, and put that uh, up into where's our definition of join search thread here, like so, and then we can actually set the info stopped in here, I guess, and then delete it from further down. So I'll say that the info stopped is equal to true here, and then we can uh, scroll back down is that null going away? Yes, it is good. Then we can scroll back down and where were we? Where were we? Where were we? We're down here. Yep. So good. So we can just send in info here and we can also send in info here and then I can get rid of the info stopped equals true there as well. So we're nearly ready, I think, to compile. I just want to go to defs.h because we changed the input polling, didn't we? And I think we had that as an external function as well. Let's have a look somewhere. Miss. Yep. Yeah, we don't need this read input definition here anymore. And the other thing that I noticed while switching between the files was actually this uh, pro PV move here. Probably we can send this in as a const here as an argument in, for the uh, shash table, which means we need to go and find the implementation of that as well, which is pro PV move. Was that at the top here? Nope, it was at the bottom here. So here it is. So we can send that in as const inside here as well, because we're not actually doing any adaptations to the hash table or anything inside this. So we might as well send that in like that. That means also probably we can do this with the get PV line as well, because I don't think we're doing anything with the hash table there either, are we? So we can send const in there as well, and I'll copy that and go back into defs.h and the get PV line also can have the const here. Okay, there's one more thing we need to do, which is scratching the back of my mind, because I had a couple of problems in preparing this, and I'll show you actually by going to search here and typing in false, and then we're matching case here. So we've got return false, blah, blah, blah. Here in defs, you can remember maybe that we had the inum false and true, so zero and one defined here. But I think when I was preparing for this, it's actually also defined inside tinythread.c. 
here it's defined. That means if we include tinythread.c like we have in UCI before our defs.h, it's actually already going to be defined when we set it up as an enum. Now I could put an if else clause around that in defs.h, but what I'm going to do is be a little bit naughty and just take out tinythread and put it below defs.h like that so that we've got false defined and I don't have to mess around anymore uh, with defs.h. That should hopefully be everything that we need to do to actually have things up and running with a search thread. So let's go into the console. I'm going to run make and cross fingers and toes and we don't get any errors, which is good because obviously we've got rid of that uh, bytes reading code. So let's uh, let's try and actually run vice and UCI and let's just type, uh, let's type run here and then see what happens. So we are searching, which is good. Things look all right. And I'm going to type stop. Ah, and there we go. We can see best move E2, E4, and freed, which means we know that our thread came to an end. Can we type run again and things are okay? We can and stop. Now interestingly, can we type run and be searching and now type quit and see freed? Yep, we can freed and the program has quit. So that looks like we're actually up and running with an input thread. So after a quick edit, what I've actually done is taken what we've just compiled and I've actually loaded it up into Qt Chess and I'm just letting Vice play a game against uh, the Wimboard engine called Fail here. Uh, Vice is playing without the opening book, but the thing I was interested in seeing actually was whether Vice actually can play a game and the input thread is working okay. Because Qt Chess is a pretty good, reliable, very well written piece of software and if it doesn't work with this then uh, something will be wrong. I also used the Qt Chess CLI to run a few hundred games really, really quickly with Vice and it didn't seem to have any problems with the input thread or anything there either. So I'm pretty satisfied after all of that that uh, what we're doing seems to have worked. So the story, however, doesn't quite end there because I tried to compile Vice as we were on Linux or so on a virtual box here with Kali Linux. And you can see here that there were quite a few errors. The reason for that error is we actually need to specifically include POSIX thread support with pthread as an argument in the make file. In other words, back inside our make file, what we need to do is add dash pthread like so. So back in the Linux box then, if I just type nano and make file, you can see that I've now adjusted the make file here to actually have the dash pthread inside as well. So I'll exit out of there. And then what I can do now is just type make on this box and it should compile and indeed it does compile. Now I've already gone ahead and tested this in advance, otherwise it will be a waste of time on the video and already run vice on this and everything runs okay with the thread. But if you're running this on Mac or Linux, you'll need to make sure to add that pthread argument into the make file. So it was a bit of a longer video, but we've actually made a really, really big step in the code. We've managed now to add threads. We've fixed up the hash table, and that means we can now start with the lazy SMP implementation.